This lesson will show how to use the previous answer function on the Desmos scientific calculator to quickly evaluate expressions that are based upon previous entries. If we take a look at the expressions on the left, notice how each subsequent expression is built upon the previous expression. And because of this, we can quickly evaluate all of the expressions using the previous answer function on the calculator. To begin, we have 15 minus eight, which of course is equal to seven. The next expression is 15 minus eight plus two squared, which means this expression is equal to the value of the previous expression plus two squared. And because of this, instead of entering the entire expression, we can click the answer key or answer button below the three, which brings up the value of the previous expression, and then we could just add two squared. So we have plus two, to enter the exponent of two, we click the a squared key and enter. The second expression is equal to 11. For the third expression, we have the quantity 15 minus eight plus two squared divided by five, which means this expression is equal to the value of the previous expression divided by five. To evaluate this, we can click the answer key, which brings up the value of the previous expression, and then simply divide by five, which is equal to 2.2 .2 as a decimal. To convert to fraction form, click the circle on the right, which gives us 11 fifths. Notice the fourth expression is equal to the third expression plus the square root of 49, which means to evaluate the fourth expression, we can click the answer key and then just add the square root of 49. So we have plus the square root key is this key here below the a squared. And then we enter the radicand of 49 and enter, which gives us 9.2 as a decimal, or as a fraction we have 46 fifths. And then finally notice how the fifth expression is just the fourth expression raised to the third power, which means we can click the answer key and then raise this five to the third power to evaluate the fifth expression. And because it's in a box here, we don't need parentheses, but I will add them anyway. I'm gonna click the left arrow, open parenthesis, right arrow, close parenthesis, to enter the exponent of three, click the exponent key, which is the a to the power of b key, which is here, enter the exponent of three, and then enter. We have 778.688 as a decimal, or as a fraction, 97,336 over 125. Now just to verify this is correct, I'm also gonna enter the fifth expression just as it's given. So going down to the open cell, open parenthesis. Next I'll click the fraction key, which is the A over B key on the far right. Enter the numerator of 15 minus eight plus two squared. Click on the denominator. Enter the denominator of five, right arrow, and then we have plus the square root of 49, right arrow, close parenthesis, a to the power of b, and then the exponent of three. And notice how we do get the same result. I hope you found this helpful.